What's going on guys? Sin for the win here and we are back with our franchise mode as the Detroit Red Wings and uh, we're here at the trade deadline and there were a couple things that I was looking at doing. Um, now we, we checked out a little bit last time and uh, Malkin looked like a good good option and there's another one here as well that he's not on the block so it's easy to miss and it doesn't make too much sense for them to give him up so I don't think they will but maybe like a next year they if he's still playing they will I looked at Ovechkin all right he's 36 by this point 92 overall still so that might be why they don't want to give him up and he's been producing great this year he's got two years left on that deal if he plays like another year then, like, next year, I think he might be on the block or something like that. But, like, I mean, they're a playoff team. He's producing well. He's he's a great player, obviously. So, I mean, it makes sense that he's not on the block right now. But, holy crap, that he would be he would be kind of like the game changer to pick up. But they don't want to give him up. And uh, I don't really see us getting him. I mean, they're, they're, they need left wings. They're the short on left wings anyway. And uh, they don't want either Atkinson or Konechny or anyone. So, it doesn't look like we could get him. So, the next best thing to do would be to go after Malkin still. So, that's what we're going to look at here. and Because he's on the block. It'll be a lot easier to get him. Now, there's a couple things we could do. So, he's also a year younger. And I think he, we might be able to get an extra year out of him. Maybe. Maybe. He might still retire. But... This is a very good player, and he's got a decent shot, too, so if you look at his totals, like, he looks like he'd do a bit, and he's a minus two, so it's like, yeah, it kind of makes sense that they'd want to trade this guy. Seems like he's on the decline, but we we want something like this. Now, who I was going to think about giving up here is not Larkin or Konechny. What I'm thinking is to get up to Kaiser. All right, now, I'm going to show you my logic behind this. DeKaiser's good. Don't get me wrong. I We loved him on the team. He's been great for us. Um, he's always been, like, a plus player throughout. Like, there's nothing really, really wrong with the dude. Um, you know, he's solid for us. He's been he's been solid. He's had some minus years. But the thing is, we're looking to get more offense. Now, this guy doesn't produce offense. Who we are going to move back, I mean, he's produced a bit, like, in certain years. But he's never broken 40 points. And uh, we have someone like a Bean who could do that. And Dougie Hamilton who could do that. So, that's where our main thing is. So, I'm thinking about giving this guy a plus. He's 31. And I would love to. I want to keep Callan Foot. And I want to keep, you know, uh, all the other guys, Sergachev, uh, Bean as well, of course. We're going to move him back. And I want to keep Yulson and uh, what's his name as well. Maybe maybe I could trade uh, the other dude, Russo, uh, for like a defensive defenseman or something. But for right now, I think the best thing to do is to throw in DeKaiser because the values also match up a bit more. So we throw in DeKaiser. The value's right there. That should, should maybe go through. Now, I want to pick up some other stuff. But I don't know if I would be able to get, if I should go for it in this trade. Like one guy I was looking at to pick up, not Versteeg. Where'd he go? Uh, bu -bu -bu, where is he? Hold on a sec. There was one guy in here that looked pretty decent. Yeah. Okay. Wait. No, it wasn't him. Shoot. Where'd he go? Pocket. There we go. So I was looking at Pocket to pick up for like the third or fourth line. Like he'd be interchangeable because he has good defensive stats and he's like a grinder and he's a lefty, so he could play on the left wing side, replace Bertuzzi. He's listed to be a fourth liner. At tw but he's only he's 28 years old, so he's still pretty good. He's got a decent salary, one year left. So I think I want to throw this guy in there because, again, that's just another guy we could use in the playoffs. So, yeah, we'd have to send something back. And for that guy, I think we should go one up and do Bertuzzi. Now, there's a couple other things we could do to make our run for the playoffs a little bit better. All right, so I'm going to show you here. Let me throw in Bertuzzi here. That should easily go through if we throw in Bertuzzi. Yeah, there's no way that doesn't go through, I don't think. Even though some guys aren't marked, matching the block, I might be able to get a little something extra back. Um, now, I was looking at trading a Mantha and picking up someone like Hornfist to replace him because Hornfist is listed to be the third scoring, to be on, you know, a third scoring line. Now... And he could play very well on that right side, on the third line, because look at his defensive stats. They're pretty good for a scoring type player. He's pretty good defensive stats, and uh, he's got great poise. And look at his point totals for this year. He's a minus, sure, but he's probably playing, he might be playing second line time. But again, one year left on that deal, and I like him there. All right, so I kind of like him. I might be able to pick him up, and we might not even have to throw in Mantha in this deal. We could throw in Mantha for something else, but the way it's looking, we'd have to, we have to send something back. So maybe one of the depth guys that we picked up. So I'm going to throw that in there. Uh, da -da. Okay, none of these guys. 
Okay, maybe not. Okay. Or I can throw in someone like this. Someone we don't need. Or if they, they, they might need the roster player back. But like someone like this. 69, he's 20. Yeah, we can throw in someone like that. But oh yeah, it won't work because he's not signed. Watch, yeah, it won't work. See, if I try to put him in, he won't be signed, so it won't work. Yep. All right, so even though they want him, can't do it. So I could look at Juris or whatever and send one of those guys through. No, I want Delorier, Glenn Denning, we want Weber. Could do Weber, but I kind of want to hold on to the depth defenseman, guys, because he's a defensive defenseman. He would be the one I bring up first, just to be more of a lockdown guy for sure, and he's good. Uh, so Nash or Juris? There's Nash. Uh, probably. Uh, that's close. Probably Nash, to be honest. Yeah, I'll throw in Nash instead. Yeah, so let's throw in Nash in there. So that all that will go through. So we can hold on to Mantha. He has a bit more value on him. We could trade him for something else, and I think I know what I'm gonna want to go for. And it's uh, it's gonna. Yeah, it's going to help quite a bit. So, if we're going for Evgeny Malkin, we're trading away to Kaiser, or we could play Larkin on, like, the left side. I know someone was saying that. We could try that out. Put him, and I want to play maybe Konechny up on the first line, or put Malkin on the first line. We'll go, we'll go kind of slow. I don't know if I want, what, like, Malkin probably is listed to be first liner. Um, so is Konechny at uh, 87 overall. So, I'm not too sure what I'd want to do with that. It's, uh, it's tough. Not too sure. Or I could keep Larkin where he is and put Malkin and Konechny on the same line together with Stone. Uh, that's always a possibility. Move like Konechny to the wing or something like that. I don't know. But uh, this is what we're looking at. DeKaiser, Malkin, Bertuzzi, Pocket, Hornfist, and Nash. Now, the reason I want Hornfist is because he won't drop. And he'll kind of be replacing Mantha while still being a better defensive player. And he's got good poise. He's probably got, he's got better point, poise than Mantha, and we're going to throw in Mantha in some other deal, which I will get to in a second, hopefully. So we're going to try this. This should go through when you look at it. So let's see. I might be able to, no, nah, that looks pretty even. I might be able to swing like a later pick from him, so I'll try that, but I doubt it. I want to I wanna make sure I'm not getting fleeced or anything for sure. So let's throw it out. Let's like grab up a fourth or something like that. Let's try to grab a fourth in there. That looks like too much, but we'll try it anyway. Let's see if this goes through. Oh, it did. So sweet. We actually did get the fourth, which is, I wasn't expecting that, but we got it. So there we go. Big move right there. But uh, you know what? I think it was worth it. I think that was worth it. We don't, we can, we're going to move Bean back. And now we have Malkin that we picked up. And uh, yeah, I know some people lost morale right here, but this will help us quite a bit. All right. I think it really will. So let me just scratch Bean real quick because that's what you have to do. Uh, actually, this won't really matter. Um, I still got more trades to make anyway, so yeah, we're just gonna do best lines for now. Alright, and that's what they're looking at for best lines. That's not how it's gonna be, don't worry, don't worry. We're gonna set it up. Oh, they moved, <laughs> they moved Larkin down to the third line, crazies. Alright, so, Shane, oh man, what did they do? Well, they, they, did they scratch Anthony to see you? Oh my goodness, what a weird ass... <laughs> What are the weird-ass best lines? I disagree with that completely. Okay, okay, okay. Now, I'm going to search around for something else that I was looking for for a Mantha trade. Now, I know some people were saying to hold on to him, but uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, what? I put, I, I could, yeah, sure, I could put him up on that second line, but then someone gets moved down. You know, Larkin gets moved down. Sure, we could trade him now, but we can't really trade him for anyone. There's no one really who jumps out at me that I'd want to trade him for. I'm not gonna, just going to trade someone to trade him, so I'm going to hold on to him instead. Now, we're going to throw in Mantha here. Because he's the one we're going to look at trading. He's still got a bit of value on him. That's because he could probably jump back up. So we're going to look around for something that uh, this guy that I'm going to look for. I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you. I'll show you. All right. Now, here's something I was looking at. This is one of the options. Trade Mantha to a team like Dallas. Now, they don't want to give up this Nemeth guy. But this is the kind of guy I want. Now, it's a defenseman. Um... He's a defensive defenseman, lefty, and he's got good defensive stats, pretty good defensive stats. Now, this is one of the guys I was looking at. I'll show you the other guy in a sec. So, he's listed to be top six. He's pretty damn good, and uh, he's a more he's like that shutdown guy that I kind of want in my top six somewhere. We could throw in Russo as well, maybe get a higher pick for this. So, let me, let me actually do that real quick. All right, so we could throw in Russo. We'd have to take back another player, which is a bit unfortunate, actually. So this might not go through because there's not really another player I want from him. If I was to take back another player, it would have been one of these unsigned guys, like this guy. Now, this guy is listed, sure, he's listed to be HL top two, but that's green, and he's got value on him. He's another defensive defenseman, another shutdown guy, perhaps, and a 
couple years, but it might take them a little longer to develop, so it's a bit more of a risk. But same thing with going for a draft pick. So actually, I don't think I want to go with this team. I'll show you the other team that I wanted to trade with. Okay, now, this might be a bit more difficult. He's also got two years left on his deal, but look at that price. That's an affordable-ass price. I know it's Brendan Dillon, but look at his defensive category. Really good. His discipline, that's a bit of a problem. I will admit that, but if he's playing top six time, maybe he doesn't have, you know, that much room to screw up too badly. But this is like, he's this is a shutdown guy. I know he's listed to be top four, so he might indeed drop a bit, but oh my goodness, those defensive stats are out of this world. And that's what I think we could really, really use playing next to Yulson, something that, you know, in, the, in our top six, something like that. So if we trade a Mantha and Russo, that would go through. I think it should. And we can maybe take back something else for it. Maybe, like, get a third out of him. I would love to do that. Maybe get a third or something out of him. Uh, yeah, indeed. I'm going to try to get that third. That might be a little too much value. That's Yeah, that's uh, way too much value right there. So maybe try another fourth or something like that. Yeah, we'll just get a fourth out of him. I just want to get something back. So we're going to trade Mantha and Russo for Brendan Dillon. All right, now. Um, we're not, we're not technically picking up another player to replace that guy, but we have, or replace, no, no, never mind. Yeah, we are. We got, uh, what's his name? We got Pocket and we got, uh, dude, oh my God, what am I thinking? What's his name? Uh, Hornquist? Yeah, Hornfist to play third line. So Mantha's being replaced. Russo's being replaced. DeKaiser's already been replaced with Bean moving back onto the point. And then the second line, we can move Larkin there or Konechny there, and we have Malkin. So I like what this is. I I, I think this is a good trade. This guy's got an amazing contract. That's, uh, that's a weak contract for someone like this. Like, he's 84 overall, and he's a really good player. I mean, that defensive category is, that's what I'm looking at. That's the main thing I want out of him. Defensive and physical. We need someone like this going into the playoffs for sure. So that's why we're going to pick him up. And uh, let's try. Okay. Russo and Mantha for Dylan and the fourth. It went through. There we go. Beautiful. All right. So we got this going now. Yeah, people are people saying Mantha's a quality player. I kind of... <laughs> he is. I'm not going to lie. It sucks trading away the Ant-Man. I'm not going to lie. But... We had to do it. We had to give something up to get something. We're struggling to even get back into the playoffs. We need to get serious. And, uh, you know, we, we were playing him on the third line. He's not happy there. Give him a chance somewhere else. All right, we're going to shift some stuff around here and uh, get the line settled. So let me do that real quick. I think that's all the changes I want to make. All right, so here's what I'm looking at here. I'm going to keep the first line maybe the same because Larkin was doing okay there with uh, Reinhardt and Kucherov. I'm going to try to boost the second line by putting Malkin there. Now, Malkin's the kind of guy who could just boost anyone. He this, this is his point total, so I'll try to remember that. 17 goals, 25 assists, so we could have something to see how much he produced from there. And I'm going to put him with uh, these two guys because I think he can help boost Konechny while also getting goals for himself and boosting Stone at the same time. Now, I'm going to try that out. And we're going to go slow because I don't want to miss the playoffs two years in a row. Hell no, we cannot do that. And then we got Paquette in here. Better defensive guy for that third line with uh, Hornquist being on the right side. Good defensively, and maybe he could get some goals. We're looking for you know, those clutch goals out of him come the playoffs especially. But we got to make it there first. So that's what we're rolling with. Defensively, we are solid, man. Sergeyev and Dougie Hamilton. Good first line. Second line, Bean and Foot. Amazing uh, second pairing. And third pairing, Dylan and Yulson. This is this is probably the best defensive core I've ever had. And it's solid built all the way around. We got the top ones are more offensive built. And then the, we got the shutdown pair. So, well, I mean, I'm not going to say they're all offensively built. Callan Foot's that, you know, this more stay-at-home guy for him. Same with Sergachev for, uh, with Hamilton. So we have the guy who can create offense, the stay-at-home guy, and then the shutdown pair and on the back end. So that's what we're looking at. And uh, power play, I switch it up a bit. I put Malkin up here. I'm going to try to load up that first line. Kucherov, Malkin, and uh, Reinhardt with Bean and Hamilton. We're going to see if that does something. Then the second unit, Stone, Konechny, and Larkin with Foot and Yulson. We're going to see if that does anything. Uh, penalty kill, I put Larkin in there for the penalty kill. I want him to maybe start killing penalties. Um, so I got him in there, maybe put him on the second unit, but I think he'll be fine there. And then we got uh, Glenn Denning on the CU. And then, yeah, we got Shan over here for the three mana. I'm going with a Larkin and nothing to see you, but I might switch them like that. Yeah, I think I will. We'll do that. Maybe put Shahan in there instead. No, I'd rather keep nothing to see you in there. So we're doing that. Goaltenders, same kind of deal. Mrazic and Lukanen. Lukanen's still at 84. So he's a decent guy. We can go to him if, you know, Mrazic starts having trouble. But, uh, yeah. First of all, we got to make it to the playoffs. So 
Hoping this little uh, change here will spark us. I, we really need to spark that second line. We just need more production all around. So hopefully Malkin there will get the, will get it done for us. So now all that's left, we're going to keep simming here. And uh, hope that uh, this helped us out a bit. Because we need to make it back and into these playoffs. For sure. We need to make it back into these playoffs, man. Oh my goodness. Uh, we're, we have a great team, man. 92, 95, and 88. The goalie is technically the only weak spot with that, with, with, but with such a good core, defensive core now. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, guys. Huge, huge blockbuster trade right there. And, uh, you know, this is, this is the, the, it's, it's time now for us to trade, trade for playoff runs. I think we're at that time. All right. <laughs> against Pittsburgh, too. That's got to be awkward for those guys playing against their old teams. Let's see what happened. Oh, we lost. Okay. All right, we're taking it relatively slow here. I wanna, I'm gonna make sure we're winning more than we're losing, obviously. But we need to, we need to just have like great, great stints here where we go on really great runs. So I'm hoping we can now. We, we, but I don't know. It's tough, man. Yeah, it seems that we're still winning some, losing some. All right, let's go a few more games here. I want to see us get a win streak. We need a win streak. We're gaining locker room chemistry, which is good, but we need a win streak here. We really do. I'm really hoping we could get it. There's a win. There we go. Okay. 34, 27, and 6. Seems we're climbing back up slightly, but it's going to be tough to get back in the playoffs. We're in a very tough division, very tough conference right there. We can't afford to lose. We just got to keep winning. Damn, we have three games against Buffalo in this little uh, stretch here. And literally, like, one and a half weeks, we have three games against Buffalo. A little mini uh, rivalry series going down. Let's win them all. Let's beat them all. There we go. Ah! God, we need to come back. We need to win, like, multiple games in a row, guys. Come on now. Okay, we're get, but we're giving points to these teams, man. We're winning overtime and stuff like that. Yeah, we're giving so many points away right now. Ugh, 38, 29, and 6. I'm going to check where we're at right now. Locker room chemistry is going up. That's good. We're in 5th. I don't know, guys. In 5th, three points behind Florida, who has a wild card spot. So we're three points behind the wild card spot. Let me check point totals. I remember 17 and 25 for Malkin. How's he doing? 20 and 30 so yeah i would say he produced pretty damn well um people are yeah we're producing well first line they're still producing very well together stone horn fist i doesn't really count connect me i don't know I, I forgot to check where he was at but i don't know we'll see man i'm hoping malkin could be the guy we could also you know pop malcolm malkin up into the first line if we need to you know so we have that going for us oh yeah i was supposed to check the uh actual team stats to see how close we were to the other divisions and such so we're three points behind a wild card spot right now okay that's not you know unobtainable or anything but we got it we really need to go on tears right here we got the same same amount of games played against florida all right and but they're beating us in regulation plus overtime so we can't just time right now we have to get ahead of these guys uh in the met where are we going in the met okay Ooh, okay yeah so wait a sec yeah okay 82, we're at 82, but they probably, what, regulation plus overtime? Yeah, regulation plus overtime for them. And Pittsburgh, okay, we're two, oh, wow, yeah. Okay, so, technically we're one point out of a playoff spot right now, so that's actually good, but we want to, we, we just need to, we don't want to leave things a chance right here. We got to, we got to just kill it right here. We got to kill it, all right, guys? We really just, ugh, Buffalo's a great team, man. We need, we just need to take, we just need to steal points off of people. Okay, so any we got Western, we got a West trip over here. So let's go these couple games up to that. Come on, beat Buffalo. Just beat Buffalo. They're already in the playoffs, man. You just got to steal these points from these elite teams. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, okay, we get a point. That's not bad. All right, beat beat, beat a New Jersey, though. We need to beat them. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. So we got that. We should be inching a bit closer. We only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games left, okay? Seven games left, guys. We got to turn it on. Let's get 40 wins right here. Ugh! Come on, guys. Come on. We need to win. We need to win. We need to win. We need to win. Come on, man. Big win here against Nashville. Come on now. Uh, okay. Oh, I thought that was a loss. I saw 7 to 2. I, got, I was like, oh, geez, that's got to be a loss. No, no. Okay, good. All right, 7 to 2 to W. Did we creep up on Florida at all? Uh, a little bit. And we do have a wild card spot secured right now. But that's right now, okay? Oh, God damn. Ugh. Reinhardt got six points in that span. That's good. Okay. So, yeah, 87 points. Regular plus an overtime's at 31. That's pretty low. I don't like that. 
And, uh, wait, who, oh, we're ahead by one point. Yeah, we're only ahead by one point, and they've got better regulation plus overtime. Yeah, I'm looking at Carolina. Yeah, they're, we have to beat them in points. All right, and I think we have a game against these guys, too. So, this is a huge stretch right here. All right, we got a doubleheader now against Toronto. They're, they're a nothing team. They're trying to play spoiler right now, all right? We cannot, excuse me, we cannot let these guys spoil it for us. Let's go. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Two huge wins. We need two huge wins right here. At least give me three points. I want to see three points out of these two games. That's what I want to see. I want to see three points out of these two games. Come on, guys. Just do it for me. Please, please. There we go. There's two. Come on. There we go. There's big four. Big four points right there. There we go. Okay, okay. Now go past. Let's beat Ottawa. They're 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 an elite team, but can we no, we can't beat them. Shoot. Okay, we got two games left here. I'm gonna sim up to this game. This is gonna be a huge Wait, we qualified! We qualified for the playoffs, baby! I just saw that. There we go. Oh, by the skin of our teeth, and we got a big win there. Alright, so we don't have to do this anymore, I don't think. I'm gonna make sure. It said we qualified, but not, for some reason I'm, I'm so I'm super iffy about it. Yeah, 93 points. It looks like we yeah, we, we have the X. We clinched. Oh, how did we clinch though? Did did Carolina just like crap the bed and everyone else below us just kind of crap the bed here? 93 points. Yeah, pretty much. Wow, New York and Carolina. Carolina only got... Didn't they, did they even get a point? Doesn't look like it. And New York, I don't know what happened to them, but uh, we clinched. <laughs> there we go. Strong end of the season. Helped out a bit by some of the weaker... Uh, <laughs> by some of the weaker teams. Now, we can't rely on this year by year. We got to become that elite team. But uh, <laughs> this is a good start. Got back into the playoffs. That's a, that's a very good start here. So let's sim that. Doesn't matter, Carolina. You could beat us. We don't care. All right, yeah, they beat us. So there we go. Okay, let's sim up. Oh, oh God, yeah. The Lightning. They are, I'm pretty sure, the President's Trophy winning team. They had like 115 points or something ridiculous like that. That should be a fun first round. Now, we played them before, and I think we beat them. But you never know. You're, yeah, oh, God. 49, 21, and 12. That's a pretty outstanding record. We're 43, 32, and 7. All right, whatever. Let's just check out how we did here. Team stats first. All right, so goals against per game, or goals for per game, we went up. 8 point, or 2.82, that's good. Goals against per game, 2.66. I think that went down a bit while that went up a bit. I could be wrong, but I maybe this kind of stayed the same and this went up. But either way, it's good. We got more goal scoring. That's what we were looking for. And goals against... Um, yeah, that needs improvement for sure, but we are in the playoffs, so that's good. Power play, I would say it's decent. Like, when you look at our division, we're kind of middle of the pack-ish, so it's all right. All right, uh, penalty kill, yeah, it's pretty good. All right, home record, we really improved our home record, which is good. Last 10, 6, 3, and 1, so not the greatest last 10, but we got into the playoffs. That's what we needed, and we got into the playoffs, so we did it. Oh, man, that was, uh, that was scary at the end, man, nail-biting. Very nail-biting, all right? So, let's check out points. Our highest point producer only got 68 points. See, so, yeah, that's, uh, but he got so many assists. Almost a 50 assist guy. Good job. Larkin, that's one of his better seasons. He was a 30-goal scorer with 65 points. I I'm okay with that. I, I would be okay with keeping this guy because it looks like he's he kind of found what he needs to work with to be successful. Malkin, what was he at? 17 to 25. So, in the span of like a month and a half there, or yeah, like a month and a half, he got five, yeah, five goals and nine assists. How many? Yeah, for fourteen points in I don't know how many games played, but that's pretty damn good, I would say. I'd say he did pretty good there. Dougie Hamilton, Jake Bean, there we go. Now, I don't know how much Jake Bean got when he moved back, but Stone and Konechny didn't quite get to fifty points, but they're they were on a they're on a better pace. Look, they almost got to fifty points, which they were on a pace to maybe get forty before, and uh, so that's good news. I'll take that as a win. Malkin helped him out for sure. Hornfist can't really judge him; he's on third line. It looks like uh, drop back maybe a little more in minuses, but doesn't matter. Um, Sergachev is amazing plus minus. Um, wait a sec though. Let me just check out defensemen now. I want to check them out more in depth. Yeah, there you go. All those guys. They're all pluses. Dylan brought him in. Looks like he did pretty good. Goaltender-wise, let's see here. Mrazek had eight shutouts on the year. Yeah. He, uh, yeah, I'd say both of our goaltenders did very well. Um, Lukanen didn't have the best record, but he did pretty, his personal stats are pretty good. So he still should improve. Mrazek's going to be our number one guy, no question, going into it. Eight shutouts is a pretty, uh, pretty hefty uh, total right there for the season. That's pretty damn good. 
All right, so I like how that looks. Playoffs are a different beast, though, for sure. And uh, Lightning are no easy tax. They were first in our uh, division, probably even conference, maybe even NHL. In fact, I'm going to check that out because I still got other things to check out, like the uh, player stuff. So, yeah, we'll do that real quick. So, yeah, Lightning, they were first in the Atlantic, 110 points. Uh, yep, first in the conference. And they were the President's Trophy winning team. All right, so that's our challenge. We got to go up against the President's Trophy winning team in the first round. Can we prove that we belong in the playoffs? That is the real question there. All right, and also check out the NHL for uh, the personal stats as well, even though none of our guys are really going to be close to anything. Um, that's just kind of how we are. We're a very spread out uh, producing team when we can produce, which has uh, been uh off and on you can say that's a nice way of putting it <laughs> our production's been off and on there you go Tavares Tarasenko uh there's Dal Call still but yeah Tavares and Dal Call are still still very good players Tarasenko how many goals done didn't quite get to 40 man Tavares beat him in goals you suck Tarasenko uh Voracek there you go McDavid yeah yeah pretty, pretty I'd say good numbers for McDavid for sure there's Stamkos in there Patrick Laine, yeah, it looks like the who we considered the young guns, you know, when we started this, have now really taken over. And uh, we got Kane down here, Shifley. Where the hell is, uh like, Crosby? Hold on. Crosby, what happened? 60, 67 points, buddy. What? Maybe he'll be on the block next year. <laughs> uh, I was looking at him, but hold on. There's someone else I want to check out where he is, too. Maybe, maybe I already passed him. My goodness, where is he? I'm looking for Ovi. That's who I'm looking for. Because, yeah. Where is Ovi? Holy crap. 61 points. And he's dropped down to a 91, too. So, this guy might be in a rental. If he if he keeps playing this year, he might be a rental player to look at for the next year. Uh, definitely. Because he'll still have great offensive stats. His defense is slipping, sure. But that doesn't matter. His defense and physical will slip, sure. But he'll be a, he could be a good rental player. Definitely. So keep that in mind. Same with Crosby. As they're on the decline now, that was the time you could pick them up in the late in their latter years. And we have plenty of assets to trade for them. We won't really hurt ourselves too much if we try to get guys like that. Anyway, that was the league. Let's check out. Uh, I got to wrap everything up. So let's see who led for defenseman. It was Drew Doughty. And where was Dougie Hamilton? He was right there. He was in there. Uh, only 11 points behind. So there you go. I I'm cool with that. We also had Jake Bean, mind you, uh, getting some points too. So there you go. But he played uh, offense for most of the year. All right, so goaltenders. Wow, nine shutouts. Oh, someone at, uh, Braden Holby had 11 shutouts. Pretty incredible. Let's just sort by games played here. And see who looks like the elite of the elite. Varlamov, pretty damn good. Uh, Demko. Thatcher Demko. Yeah, yeah, he gets pretty good. I, had, uh, I remember him getting really good when I did my Vancouver win. But it looks like Holby should be the guy. Wow. 67 games played, should be enough, plus those 11 shoutouts, yeah, hope you, hope you for Vesna for sure, that's my pick, alright, so that should take care of everything, this might be a pretty long video, I don't know, I probably got a bit to cut out with the trade editing and stuff like that, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this, remember to leave that like, let me know about the trades and everything too, give me your predictions for this first round against the Lightning, and I will see you guys there.